Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, we talk about all things fandom and we talk about them in a positive way. This is usually Throwback Thursday, but I actually just wanted to talk about some Scream news today. Actually, a theory that I heard that's been coming across a little bit more and more that I think is really interesting. And that is, could Sam be haunted by several ghosts from the past? Let's jump into it. So, oh, this theory's come to me a couple different ways over the past couple of days. I've heard it several times over where it's rumored that Sam could in fact be being haunted by the ghost faces of the past. In other words, the killers of the previous screen movies could in fact be haunting her. Now, how is this so? Well, that's what we're going to kind of dive into and determine. So, Here's the thing about this. It would be kind of more of an Italian horror type of film look for Scream, which might actually work. We're dealing with the psyche of someone who's kind of broken and not all the way there. Sam's mind has cracked since the last movie. This has been told to us in a couple of different interviews that she might be a little less than stable. So how cool would it be to actually see this put in on film? Now, a lot of people's problem with the Billy Loomis situation in the last film was how would she know to envision him in her head in the outfit he got killed in. And that's actually very simple. Newspaper articles, uh, news clippings, um, you know, news stories that were on public TV. And then, of course, the stab movies taking inspiration from the actual killings and getting the outfits pretty close. Now, in this movie, they do have the Scream Museum that they show, and they show all of these outfits. And as viewers, you might be kind of like a little bit not completely up to date on remembering exactly who wore what outfit. This would also be a very unique way for them to showcase these outfits. If we're getting to see inside the cracked mind of Sam through these visions of other ghost faces, which she would also know by news articles, news clippings, you know, everything that you know, we previously mentioned, you know, she would know the stab movies and all this and all the outfits. She would know this because it's part of public record. So for her to be haunted by these people as well is not out of the realm of complete possibility. Her to have these, these visions in her head of these people is not out of the realm of possibility for someone whose mind is cracking a lot. And I think that would be a really good thing for them to do, sort of show us her mind cracking a little bit throughout the movie to the point where we might actually wonder if she is indeed the ghost face killer. If you've watched, if you watched any horror films from like Italian based horror films or even some of the Japanese horror films tend to go this sort of weird subliminal odd type of route where you don't know at times what's real and what's not real and the person that you're following could turn out to be the killer themselves and they could be playing into this now the other thing to note here is that is that basically when you're looking into her mind some of the stuff that she's seeing may be a dream and that would be kind of cool too. Like the whole convenience store scene shows a mask that she's holding then in the same blue jacket she's actually wearing. And I think that there might be more to that than we see. That maybe that whole thing is in fact a dream that she's having that she wakes up from. And she already does have this mask in her possession. So, you know, I think that's a very, very important thing to remember that that all could be a dream as well. And then we have to talk about the spoiler situation with a lot of people saying they saw the unmasking of Ghostface and it was leaked and everything, which is why I do recommend you stay out of the comments here. You know, I, I do want you to comment, but go ahead and stay out of the comments and, so you don't get spoiled. But that's not the point here. See, the point is, if this is all a dream, then that whole thing being leaked may actually mean nothing anyway. And that's something to keep in mind, too. Maybe it was leaked on purpose, a red herring, which is very, very popular in a lot of horror genres 
you know, a lot of horror movies will go the complete red herring. Scream is famous for this, but not to the level of could it be her? Could it be her mind? Could it be her psyche? And the whole thing with that, too, is that we is that we see this uh, ghost face unmasking and whoever it is. And that could all be part of her psyche as well. And that could be a reveal that really doesn't mean a whole lot at the end of the day. And that's kind of cool too. Because whoever she's thinking is the killer is probably not the killer. And to have it envisioned in her mind where she sees this would be very unique as well. She could be seeing people unmask themselves as the killer throughout the movie, making it impossible for her to know who to trust among her own friends. We could be getting a very, very different type of ghost face killer in this movie. Not only because she's envisioning things that aren't there, but because there is actually a threat. There is actually someone going around killing people she loves. And the whole thing is they would want you to think it was her. And maybe that's where a lot of the earlier rumors come from as well. The whole thing where is she being blamed for these murders? Is she being blamed for the past murders? And it would make sense if she's seeing these ghosts and she's going a little bit crazy herself and she's saying things that are completely out of the realm of possibility. It, it would just be really kind of cool for us not to know what is real in this movie. And this may be the route we're going. They definitely said this was going to be a very different type of ghost face. And for it to be a very different type of ghost face, it kind of has to be a little bit different of a movie. Plus, this is supposed to be a lot more violent. And if more people are dying in this movie, could some of the people die and then be alive because it was only in her vision? That would be a really unique thing as well to show people die and then reveal that they didn't really die, that it's all in her head for a certain sections of the movie. And then the real killer comes along and actually kills these people. And we just kind of get to see her freaking out because she thought that they were dead. And then to have them pop up alive and her not being able to save them would just add to her stress and add to her insanity. And I think that might be a really cool way to go with this movie. All right, so go ahead and leave us a comment in the comment box below, but please be careful of spoilers that are out there. Don't read anybody else's comments but your own if you want to remain spoiler-free. Um, then go ahead and share this video with all of your friends so that they can be part of the conversation as well, but warn them about spoilers also. And then friends, make sure that you are Hitting that like button it helps with the channel. We appreciate it and it's free. Miko says we need more subscribers and you don't want to disappoint Miko. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video we do. Then at the end of the day, friends, I know it, you know it, and Miko knows it. Fandom is family.